hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i am going to be doing a long awaited story time i have not did a story time in so long but that's because it's like i'm only 23 years old like i don't have that many stories to tell and the ones that i do it's like like i cannot tell it the whole new york will be in fucking shambles okay it will be on every blog site <laughs> i'm not doing it <laughs> All right, so this was around a time, oh my God, you guys, this is, like, to go back to these memories is, like, insane. Like, I'm, like, I haven't even started the story yet. So I was around, like, 17, 18 when all of this was happening. This is when I had got kicked out of my first high school, which I hated that high school, so whatever, I got kicked out. I transferred to another school, I transferred there, and that school was an alternative school. I, it was time for me to graduate and I was trying to get my credits fast. Probably the worst high school I've ever been to because it just was not motivating. The people in there were just like fucking hood rats and nobody wanted to do anything with their life. Nobody wanted to prosper in life. Nobody was even in there working. So the environment was just so negative, so it made me negative. The school was like, you go there, they have computers for you at every freaking desk, like every table, um, and you do the work online. And it sounds easy, it really sounds easy. The work was easy, but it's just being motivated there and you know, sitting there by yourself, having people distract you, and just having negative energy around you. Like it was just so many distractions, especially with my personal life. I was dating this stupid boy um, the boy from my side chick story time, this is around the time I was dating him. He just like tore my self-esteem and my confidence down. And it's so crazy to think like, how can you let a man do that to you? You get what I'm saying? Of course now I'm older, I'm 23. I would never let a man do that. Y'all already know my body. If a nigga even try me, I'm out. Like y'all already know. But before it was kind of like, you know, I'm 16, 17, whatever. And like, I don't know, I'm learning these things. This is like my second boyfriend ever. This, this, is, this is why they are called lessons, because you learn. I have definitely learned. That's why I am the way I am now. I will leave in a drop of a dime and everyone hates that about me, but I don't give a fuck. I know there was times that he would do things like, uh, I remember one time we was going to his house, the mailman put all the mail like on top of the like mailboxes and he took all of them. It was Christmas cards, everything. It was like holiday cards. He took all of them and was going through them looking for money. I'm like, how can you like, that's when I knew I was like, this nigga is evil as fuck because how can you do that? Looking for money, are you crazy? You fucking bum. Like. First off, who would even send money like that? Like, in a fucking Christmas card? In the regular mail? Like, what's wrong with you? <sighs> if you guys watched my story time, um, I slapped my teacher. That's what it was called. I slapped my teacher. That was the school I'm talking about. And I got kicked out of that school because of that. So, I was in that school, dating him, and then that story time happened. And then I got kicked out of that school. So, I got kicked out, and I was done i wanted to die nothing in my life was going good for me um i was arguing with my with my i was arguing with my family i had this stupid boyfriend um i wasn't in school i dropped out of school and it was a couple other things that took a big toll on my life that happened that i'm definitely not comfortable with talking about so but just know, like, it was just so much going on. So that happened. So basically, I was just out of school. I didn't enroll in another school for a while. I sat at home. I didn't have a job. I had no money, none whatsoever. Like, I had zero dollars. And me, I'm the type of person where I have too much pride to ask anybody for anything. And that's probably one of the reasons why I am the way I am. Like, I get everything on my own. I do everything for myself. I'm a self-made person. And I don't know, I've just always been that way. Even though I always had parents who provided for me, um, I just never asked. Like, I never asked them for money. They would give me money for school or, like, to eat or stuff like that. But I just... I had too much pride to ask. Like, I would hate asking my dad for even, like, a dollar. I was at home, depressed, arguing with this stupid-ass, dumb-ass boy. And I got this bright idea. Why don't 
I become a stripper. I've always, like, I've took dance all my life. I know how to dance. I know how to do tap, jazz, ballet, everything. So I know how to dance and I know how to, like, shake my ass. I, I know how to do it all. If you see me on Snapchat dancing and I look retarded, that's just play because if I really get to it, y'all gonna be like, this bitch just bugged the fuck out. So don't judge me off my Snapchat post because I be seeing y'all talking shit like, Aaliyah J cannot dance. No, honey, I can make it clap and take your nigga, okay? <laughs> Nah, but let me stop. <laughs> so I'm like, why don't I be a stripper? Like, why not? Here was my logic. I was going to work in Manhattan at a club. I was not, there's a lot of strip clubs in New York. And at this time, stripping was not as popular as it is today. So stripping and bartending is like a, a, a thing in New York, Atlanta, Miami, whatever. It's a thing, you get what I'm saying? So I looked up a couple of clubs and I, I, you know, I've never really, I don't think I've ever been to a club at that point in my life either. I was gonna work at a strip club in Manhattan because usually in Manhattan, that's where all the businessmen were. The businessmen spend money. And if you really think about it, they love, love, love young black girls. I'm sorry, I know this sounds crazy and I have so many young girls watching me, but this is just the story time of my life and this was really like my mind. And they go to the club, you know, after work, get a drink, whatever uh, whatever type of club it is. It's not a strip club, I don't know, but whatever type of club it was, they go there, get a drink after work, late night, and they're gonna spend money. I wasn't looking for a sugar daddy, but that's just the fact, and I know that, and whatever. And I was going to hire a driver. And at a certain point in my stripping career, I was gonna have to hire like an actual, like. I wouldn't say bodyguard, but that's basically what it is, bodyguard. Bodyguard sounds so like bougie, but listen, people need bodyguards sometimes, okay? So that's what I was gonna hire, some a man, a, like a, a person who can protect me to take me home late at night. I looked up a couple of clubs in Manhattan, called around, asked them was they taking auditions, and they said yes, they was taking auditions and to come in, um, we set dates and everything. I don't, I can't remember what date, but we set dates and everything. So I was like, okay, like I'm gonna do this. So I finally went to my mom and I'm like, Ma, I think I wanna be a stripper. Now you guys know me, like me and my mom are like besties. I tell her everything. She like, you know, she supports me with everything that I do. My father supports me, but is he's gone like rumble. My mom, she supports me and she has her opinions, but she lets me find my way on my own. She lets me you know identify myself and she lets me be creative she lets me figure out who I am she doesn't tell me who I am she lets me figure it out and that's just how my mom is like she lets me figure things out she's like all right I hear you and she'll probably give her opinion she probably won't but she definitely does hear me out down the line like now today she she told me like I was never gonna let you do that just so you know like <laughs> but anyway so I told her and she's like all right i told her everything i just told you guys so i told her all of that and it's funny because if you guys know me today you know that i wear stripper heels as regular heels like with dresses and stuff it's really funny i got everything to go to my audition so the day that i was supposed to go of course the audition is at night because that's when the club is open and the audition is at night and that day that day I discovered that I want to be a makeup artist. And literally that day changed my whole entire life. Like my whole, whole entire life. And it's so crazy because it was ex that exact day. I've been new about YouTube, but I didn't think that it was that big of a deal or that people really like, like at the time, people, no one was really on YouTube. I seen Jaclyn Hill and that's why I love Jaclyn Hill to this day is because she kind of like motivated me to do this and that was the first person I seen and when I seen her I was like <gasps> like I was like people do this and I was like this is what I want to do this is exactly what I want to do I want to be a makeup artist I want to do YouTube I want to do tutorials 
that's what I want to do and that's what I'm gonna do I don't want to be a stripper I didn't even know makeup was that serious I wore a little bit of makeup like from like the dot like the beauty supply store once I seen that it was like a real deal and you could like literally beat your face to the gods I was like oh shit like this is it of course I'm saying I don't want to be a stripper and I don't have anything against stripping obviously I think strippers are amazing I think they're super talented if you really think about it they can climb a whole pole do all these flips I've tried to climb a pole before and I can't do it it's really hard it's really like a talent they have amazing bodies they exercise strippers are strippers are amazing I have nothing against stripping if you're a stripper kudos to you girl okay and if you're not a stripper and you aspire to be one do what you want to do of course I wouldn't want I wouldn't like promote that to be a stripper because um, I know stripping does come with a lot of like baggage and you know insecurities and other things like that but whatever I do have a lot of stripper friends as well like a lot especially when I go in the club oh my god I go in the club with my guy friends and the strippers are like all over me and I don't even have the money like my guy friends have the money I take my guy friends money and throw it the strippers are all over me I don't even have the freaking money they're like talking to me and we're like talking and like the guys be like what the fuck is going on like it's so I don't know strippers really love me it's really weird but they fucking love me like it's crazy and I get along with them so freaking well like I don't know <laughs> so I enrolled myself I enrolled myself back in school and I went to a whole new school, um, downtown Brooklyn, and I was so happy at that school. I made friends. That's actually where I met Justin. And at that time, I was, like, doing YouTube. I would – actually, it was a night school, so I was going to school from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. because it was alternative. So I went to night school. I met Justin. And before I would go to school at 4 p.m., I would wake up around, like, 12 and do, like, makeup tutorials and I would record on my iPhone 4. I told you guys I had an iPhone 4. Edit on my iPhone 4 when I get back home and post it. I did that and I started like, you know, doing makeup tutorials on my iPhone 4. And then I got a seasonal job at Sephora and I hated it. So I quit like a month later. And then I graduated high school and I took, I started taking my YouTube career serious. And now I'm freaking here like what so crazy because I went through so much and you probably wouldn't even know that because I have such like a supportive family and you know how I kind of like conduct myself or what I have and it's so crazy but it's like everybody has to go through their own trials and tribulations you get what I'm saying regardless of what type of family you have how much money you have what you have at home what you don't have everyone has to go through something but I definitely did go through it and everyone is gonna have to go through it it's not just me everyone has to go through it some people go through things worse some people go through less some people are more privileged whatever it's life that mo that situation definitely did like changed my life around and it's just crazy to see where I am in life now such as like you know mentally when I was in that space I was fucked up like I was not who I am today I was literally trying to find myself that's exactly what that was I was trying to find myself everyone goes through this stage where they're just bugging the fuck out they don't know what they want to do in life and they're trying to find themselves and that is when I was trying to find myself that's what I went through I went through other things like that go with that but it's a little too personal so I can't really share that but just know um, we all go through it in order to see a rainbow it has to rain I remember one time I met this girl she had came to pick up her baby and she was like wow I can't believe I met you I watch your. I was going through so much my boyfriend had a baby on me he left me and I was going through so much and I watched your videos and your videos really helped me and that was so motivating to me because it's like me girl because I know what it feels like to be in her situation so I just hope that if any of you guys are going through anything that you know you feel as if you don't know who you are you're going through something and you trying to find yourself and you're trying to get some type of like confidence motivation I hope that this video definitely helps you we all deserve to be happy and we're all just trying to figure our lives out. We're all trying to live our best life. We're all gonna get there, that's a fact. 
it's never going to rain forever. Know that for sure. And I, I know I have a lot of older viewers. Hi, ladies. Um, and I just want to let you guys know that it's never too late to do what you really dream or to find yourself. You could be however old you are. You could be fucking 60 years old and still be trying to find yourself. It really happens that way. Talk to yourself every single day. Tell yourself that you're beautiful, that you deserve the world, that you're worth it, and, and fuck everybody else. I don't know. I just wanted to share that moment with you guys because it was just such a, like, dark moment for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye. Love you guys.